10 keyboard combinations that can make your life way easier. Computer users are usually divided into two groups – those who prefer using their mouse and those who'd rather use hotkeys. Well, that latter group is onto something, because experts have found that you can lose about 64 hours a year just by clicking on things. You ready to boost your productivity and look cool while doing it? Then check out these 10 quick keyboard combinations that'll make your life way easier. But first, remember to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to join us on the Bright Side of Life. Number 1. Redo <laughs> I think we can all agree that the Undo button, or Ctrl plus Z keyboard command, should make it to the list of the best things ever created. But computer geniuses didn't stop there. They thought of the opposite yet equally useful command as well. The next time you need to redo something you accidentally undid, just press Ctrl plus Y for Windows or Command plus Y for Mac and continue your work like it's no big deal. Number 2. Create a new folder You can always do it the good old-fashioned way by right-clicking your mouse and going down to Create a Folder option. But why waste time when you can do the same thing with literally one command? Just press Ctrl plus Shift plus N while on your desktop or in an Explorer window, and your new folder will instantly pop up ready to be named. If you're using a Mac, your shortcut for this will be Shift, Command, and N. Press them simultaneously, and your new folder will appear in the Finder. Number 3. Delete files completely. How do you usually delete a file? Highlight it and press delete, or pick it up and drag it to the recycle bin yourself? Either way, it's still going to the same place, where it'll probably sit for an eternity until you decide to empty the recycle bin too. If you want to delete your files completely here and now, just highlight them and press Shift and Delete. Windows will ask you to confirm your intention to permanently delete the files, and then they'll be gone. For Mac users with OS X, the shortcut will be Option, Command, and Delete. By the way, if you're using a Mac and still prefer to drag your files to the trash first, you can make it a bit quicker as well by removing the confirmation dialog that usually appears when you're emptying the trash. Go to the Finder menu, select Preferences, click the Advanced tab, and uncheck the Show Warning Before Emptying the Trash option. There you go! Number 4. The Emoji Keyboard If you can't imagine sending a message without a cute winky face or everyone's favorite laughing crying one, then try this trick out whenever you're on your computer. Just press the Windows key plus period and enjoy the Emoji Keyboard on your Windows device. Keep in mind that this little trick will only work if you have Windows 10. All Mac users, on the other hand, should place the cursor in the text field where they want to insert an emoji and press Command, Control, and Spacebar to gain access to it. Number 5. Minimize all windows We've all been in the situation where you have so many windows open that it gets a little hard to manage. But the real struggle starts when you need to get to your desktop and minimize all these countless windows one by one. But not anymore. All you have to do is press the Windows logo key and M. Or Option, Command, and M for Mac, and voila! Your path is now clear. Number 6. Lock Windows Minimizing windows is cool, but what if you need to lock windows itself? Not a problem. Clicking the Windows logo key together with the letter L will do the trick. To resume, you'll have to enter your Windows password if you have one. Mac users can enjoy this function too by pressing Ctrl, Shift, and Power at the same time. Number 7. Add a new virtual desktop 
If you usually keep a lot of apps open at once, or prefer to use your PC for different types of tasks, virtual desktops will be a lifesaver when it comes to staying uncluttered and organized. To add a new virtual desktop whenever you need it, press the Windows key along with Ctrl and D. If you need to move back and forth between your desktops, press the Windows key with Ctrl and right or left arrow. And to close the current virtual desktop for good, that'll be Windows key, Ctrl, and F4. However, you'll only have access to all this convenience if you use Windows 10. Now that we've gone through some handy system shortcuts, let's continue our list with commands that'll save you time when using Google Chrome. Number 8. Open Chrome in incognito mode. You probably already know that the Ctrl plus N or Ctrl plus T commands open a new window and a new tab respectively in Google Chrome. But what if you need incognito mode? Well, simply press Ctrl, Shift, and N to save yourself some time. If you're on a Mac, it'll be Command, Shift, and N for you. Number 9. Open a recently closed tab. Don't worry if you've closed an important tab by mistake. Google Chrome has got you covered. All you have to do is press Ctrl, Shift, and T, and that tab will come right back. Chrome actually remembers the last 10 tabs you've closed. So each time you use this command, your browser will keep grabbing from this bank of sorts. Mac users can get access to the same function by pressing Command, Shift, and T. Number 10. Open links in a new tab without going into that tab. <laughs> Sounds complicated, I know, but let me explain. You know how when you use Google to look something up, you click on a search result and it opens up and sends you straight to a new tab? But when you need to open more results from your search, you constantly have to go back to that original page. Instead of all that time-wasting inconvenience, just hold the control key while clicking the links you need. This simple shortcut will help you remain on the search page while opening all the results you need in separate tabs. And this method is pretty much universal for any link you click in Google Chrome. For Mac users, the go-to shortcut is pressing the command key while clicking on the different links. But don't go anywhere yet, because I've got a helpful little bonus for you. Sure, these 10 keyboard shortcuts will save you so much time. But what if it's your typing skills that are slowing you down the most? Well, there's an easy solution for that problem too. A typing chart. A typing chart is basically a technique that can help you increase your typing speed and avoid any possible mistakes. It all comes down to keeping your fingers on the home keys. For your left hand, the home keys are A, S, D, and F, with your pinky remaining on A and your index finger on F. As for your right hand, it'll be the semicolon key L, K, and J with your little finger on the semicolon and your pointer finger on J. If you place your fingers exactly like that, it'll be way easier for you to reach all the necessary keys on the board. Just take a look at this picture of the typing chart. Here, the nail color on each finger corresponds to the color of the keys you can use with it. It's always best to return each finger to its home key after pressing any key outside of it. You can use the little raised lines on the F and J keys to help you find your way back home without even looking. After some practice and lots of patience, you'll see your typing speed improve and your productivity double. So, do you know any other useful keyboard shortcuts? Tell us in the comment section below. Yeah, down there. Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe. Always stay on the bright side.